Okay guys, welcome to another episode. In today's episode of Bombproof Winter Gear, I get asked this in like, not a lot of videos, but I wear this, this vest here. Dude, why would you wear a vest? Just wear a full jacket. It's going to be warmer, right? Uh, yes, it will be warmer. But those people don't understand what the vest is and why the vest is important in a cold layer, in a cold weather layering system. And that's kind of what I'm talking about here. So this isn't necessarily an outer layer. It certainly can be, but it's kind of part of a broader system. The reason the vest is important, um, you know, specifically this one, kind of a puffy insulated one or a fleece one or a soft shell and stuff like that, but I prefer kind of the puffy um, vest, is I'll give you a couple reasons. First, you can wear them in a broad range of temperatures. So working outside, I'll wear this in like 40 to 40, 50 degree weather with a long sleeve, or sometimes I've worn this with a t-shirt underneath. Now, <clears throat> to some people that doesn't make sense, and I'll explain why I do that. First off, the vest insulates your core while not insulating your arms, and why, while not interfering with your arms. The reason that's important is anybody that's been, uh, anybody that does or has done a lot of physical uh, laborious activities, or like you're a carpenter or some plumber electrician or maybe you work on a farm maybe you're a logger who knows but if you're anybody that's done a lot of physical laborious activities understands this more but when you have all these layers around your shoulder pocket around your elbow joint and insulating your underarm or your armpit a couple things will happen. First, it gets really um, tiring because you're combating with all that fabric trying to move, so it's limiting mobility. But second, which could possibly be more important, is it's keeping your core warm, but it's also insulating your underarm, your armpit. Now, your armpit is like pretty much the main source for most people where they're going to perspire. Everyone knows the reason why people perspire is to cool themselves off. It's a natural cooling system. <clears throat> so it's important to stay warm, but if you're doing physical activity and you want to stay warm, but you don't want to get all sweaty, that's why it's better to wear a vest over a jacket. Uh, you want to stay warm, but you don't want this area insulated as much, and you also don't want your elbows and stuff, because almost 90% of the time I'm working outside, if I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, I'll fold my sleeves up. Uh, for a couple of reasons, mostly it's just less, like if you're working around machinery and you got flapping uh, shirt cuffs and stuff like that that could snag, that's a danger, that's a hazard, but also it's just, maybe it's natural habit, but it's, to me it's more comfortable and it's more efficient and I can work at a higher efficiency or at a higher speed or both. Um, I already touched on it a little bit, but another advantage of the vest is it insulates your core, which is important. Um, keeping your lungs and your heart and just your core, your organs and stuff like that insulated. With that being said, if you're bundled up too much and you're over insulated, you're going to be sweating profusely. Now, for example, say you, you're wearing five layers of winter clothing, like you got a shell jacket, an insulating jacket, uh, <clears throat> another insulating jacket, a long john, and a t-shirt or something like that, all on the upper body. <clears throat> when you sweat, your body, your armpits will have to go through that much fabric. No kidding. Like once you layer all the fabrics to get escape, your sweat has to go through like that, that much of a barrier. Um, and with more sweat being produced every single minute. So what will happen is you'll start getting super clammy, super kind of a nauseous feeling. Um, if it gets super bad, you'll kind of get this nauseous feeling because your body's overheating. And the reason it's overheating is it's trying to pump sweat out, but it's blocked. So, um, you know, if, and if you, I guess, ever want to experience this, just wrap yourself up in like saran wrap and go for a run. And what will happen, or, and what you'll see is, even if the saran wrap is really loose, that sweat needs to get out, but it won't. So it will give you kind of this nauseous type feeling and it won't be comfortable. And even if it, you know, does get out, now your clothes are soaked with sweat. <clears throat> the reason the vest is important is it is insulating your core, 
while keeping your underarms open and exposed. Um, that's the other reason, like when I buy jackets, I only buy jackets that have zippers right here to ventilate because it doesn't matter how warm a garment is, if it makes you sweat from the inside out and get wet from the inside out, it's going to chill you from the inside out and that garment is rendered useless. And again, I'm not saying buy this specific vest. This, this one I found to be very comfortable. I wear it for a wide, wide range of activities. It's kind of an earth tone color. It's ultra light. It's sized really good. It's sized long for taller people. I got an XL <clears throat> and I wear an XL t-shirt and it fits and it fits over multiple layers but at the same time it's not baggy. I mean it has pockets and stuff like that. You guys don't care about that. So first light boom compadre. <clears throat> it packs up in its own pocket, stuff sack, <clears throat> excellent addition to bug out bag and stuff like that. Again, hopefully you guys like this video. Hope you guys like this series. Feel free to give this video a big thumbs up. Um, like always, if you're new to my channel, go back to my homepage, watch some of my current videos. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. But we'll catch you on the next video.